The Real Animals Hook It and Cook It, brought to you by Rumfish Grill at the Guy Harvey Outpost. I'm at the Rumfish Grill on St. Pete Beach, St. Pete Beach, Florida. I'm with Chef Tyson. Chef, what are we cooking today? Uh, today we're going to be cooking a seafood brochette. All right, so here we are. We're going to assemble the brochette that we have. Uh, we've got some Gulf Mahi Mahi, scallops, some shrimp, a um, little red onion, poblano peppers, red bell peppers, kind of season it up, give it a little spice in there too. We're going to just season that up with a little salt and pepper, a little olive oil on there, a little fresh basil and parsley mixture on there. Good. Now we're going to hit it on our griddle over here. All right, so while that's grilling away over here, we're going to assemble the salad. To the base of our salad is a little farro. Get that into the bowl. And uh, with the farro, we got a little Asian vegetables. They're kind of hibachi style. They taste like the vegetables off the flat top of the hibachi. Okay. A little squash, onion, mushrooms, zucchini. So with the uh, hibachi vegetables, we're also going to add a little arugula in there. Mm. And then we have our miso dressing, which is a aioli-based dressing. We're just gonna mix that around, coat all that farro, incorporate the vegetables. We're gonna put our miso in the bottom of the bowl here. So as you can see now, the brochette's basically cooked all the way through. We like to put a little lemon on the end of it to kind of hold the seafood while it's on the hanger and as well to squeeze it so you can have a little lemon to squeeze over the fresh to kind of brighten it up too. Hang the brochette over there. Chef, that looks absolutely amazing. For this great recipe and more, go to our website. Real Animals Hook It and Cook It, brought to you by Rumfish Grill at the Guy Harvey Outpost. Oh, saw him eat it. He did eat it, too. And again, it was moving. Was it? Yep. We're reeling That's it? That's the third fish today that we've had eat, or at least that I've had eat, that where it was moving. <laughs> I was trying to bring it in. We had a fish boil close to the boat. I was trying to bring it in to put it right where that boil was, and one picked it off on its way. So cool. Right in the button, we got this one. Come here. Turn you upside down and get y'all relaxed. Put that out your button. Get that out your button. Pumpkin. Pretty fish. I think that's the coolest way to catch them right there. It's like catching them on a mirror, Dean. Nose hook that green back, just working it back nice and slow, and it just gets punished. I like it. And you know, on a day like today, when the bite's a little weird, that we've had a lot of baits just get picked up, kind of carried a couple of feet and let go, it's kind of cool when you can do that. Well, good news for us is this guy's controllable here. Same deal, he busted right in front of the yep. boat, and I just kind of hand fed him here. That's cool, though. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You gotta come and do some of this. If you love to catch snook, Sarasota, Florida, in this estuary, Captain Jeremy, come and get you a bunch of those. That a boy. Ooh, good fish. Oh, that a boy. Now he's gonna wake up here in a second. Oh, nice fish. That a boy. Oh yeah, look at that. That a boy. Oh, look at the head shake. Wow, he's really upset. Pretty fish, pretty fish. Look at that. Surfing to you here, buddy. Come here, pumpkin. That fish is like, what'd you call me? What'd you call me, chump? What'd you call me, chump? Look at that. Mm -hmm. Pretty fish. Want well, to be sure you try to support that belly on them. Nice fish right there. Good job, Captain Jeremy Lee. What an absolutely fantastic morning, huh? Snook fishing in the spring in Florida. I don't know. If it gets any better than that, I don't need to know about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good stuff. No, sir. Captain Jeremy Lee. What a yes, great sir. morning, my friend. Thank you. Well done. So glad we could finally get together and get this uh, in the schedule and get it done. You're a busy man here in Sarasota. Fishing, fantastic. A morning of fishing, because it's literally still the morning. Sure. Ton of snook, ton of snook. Fighting some weird conditions, too, and they still ate pretty good for us. Yeah, they did. Uh, we had to, to pull a few tricks out, but 
you know, I'm glad it worked out for us, and we beat the weather that's coming tomorrow. Yeah, right. <laughs> and uh, I'm glad we could get it get it done. We've been talking about it for a while, and weather again, yeah, kind of yeah. beat us up. But uh, today was beautiful, and we caught some good fish. Great trip. Thank you so much. We certainly hope you enjoy this week's episode as much as Jeremy and I enjoyed bringing it to you. I'm Captain Michael Anderson, reminding you that whatever you do, don't let your kid be the one that got away.